Hi preschoolers, Miss Katie here. Did you know that it's really fun to learn like anywhere you're at? So today we're going to learn in my kitchen. I am going to teach you some fun things to do with numbers. So before we begin, let's review. How do we write numbers? Some of you might already know these. Some of you might be just starting to learn. So let's check it out. Do you know what this number is? Straight line down and then we're done. That's how we make the number one. Mm -hmm. Number one is easy, straight line down. What is this number? Remember, we start at the dot, at the top. You do a curve and then a line back. That's the number two. How about this one? A curve, another curve. That's how we make the number three. How about this one? Down and over, down some more. That's how we make the number four. Are you four years old? Or maybe you're three years old. Some of you might be five years old. This one's tricky. Just remember, we start at the dot. Over, down, and around. That's how we make the number five. How about the six? Start at the top, down, make a loop. That's the number six. How about over and down? That's how we make the number seven. This can be kind of tricky. There's kind of two ways that people make the number eight. Start at the top and make an S and then back up. Or some people make a circle and another circle. I like to do the S and then all the way back up to the top to make my eight. And how about the number nine? You make a circle and a line. That's how you make the number nine. And we forgot a number that's really, really powerful. Do you know this one? It kind of looks like a circle or the letter O, but if it's a number, we call this the number zero, right? And the number zero is super powerful. If you already know all your numbers and you can count all the way to 10, can you try counting by twos? That'd be like this. I think of the number one in my head, but then I say two out loud, so two, then I skip a number, and then I would say four, skip a number, and then say six. So it'd be like this. Two, four, six, eight. And you keep going as high as you can. Otherwise, if you can count by two, four, six, eight, by twos, can you count by fives? Five, 10, 15, 20. If you can count by fives, what about by tens? Now, first of all, if we count by tens, we have to know how to make a 10. That's a one and a zero. What happens if I take away the one and I replace it with our number two? What does a two and a zero make? 20. If I put a three, 30. And a four, 40, 50, where's our number six? It's hiding over here. Here we have 60, then we have 70, 80, and 90. Now parents, if you wanna make number cards just like I did, you can use them as flash cards so that kids can identify. You can make pairs of them, like maybe two orange fours, so kids could match them up. Or if you have like a deck of cards, here we have from Crazy Eights, kids can match up and find all of the twos and stick them together. Or you could write out numbers on a piece of paper like this, and then kids could match up the three with the three. That's the number recognition point that we're trying to work on. The kids can know that that's a three and also when they are ready to start to write the numbers. Also, we can work on quantities. So you can know that that's the number two, but how many is the number two? So that's when we're working on getting like two different objects and 
pointing that to that or placing it right by. So I know that two equals two blocks, or I know that one would equal one block to get those different quantities. You can use blocks or crackers, anything that you have in your house, those small items so that we can start to use the quantities and understand that. That also works if you have those cards, you can get clothespins. Now I know that that's the number four and this card actually helps because it has four objects as well. And I can practice that fine motor and put four clothespins on top of that. So this is another example of things you can do with playing cards and numbers. This is something that we like to do at preschool. We like to make parking lots for our toy cars. You can make a parking lot out of Legos like we usually do at preschool, but I didn't have Legos at home. So I took a cereal box and I cut the top off and I wrote the numbers here, all the way up to the number 14. If your child is still working on numbers, maybe one through five, you can write multiple number ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and just practice with those. If your child is ready for bigger numbers, for example, 14 or 20s, if you wanna work on your 10s, 30s, 40s, um, whatever stage your child is ready for, go ahead and write those numbers there. Then you can take your little toy cars and if a parent or a sibling is there, you can say, okay, park your car in parking lot number four. Then you can drive it in and park it. Otherwise, you can put little um, numbers on your cars and then the child, your child, can match it up three to three. Those are different activities that we can do uh, with our cars, with our numbers. And another activity that would be really good to do at home is practice your phone number. Now check this out. If I stick some paper plates to the wall, then I'm going to put the numbers just how they would on a telephone. So kids, do you remember where all the numbers go? If you have seen your mom and dad's telephone, let's see if we can get them in the right spots, okay? So here's our number eight, nine, I think, oh, here's our seven, one, and the number starts at the top. I have my little dot there, we'll twirl it around. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. And over here and there, there's some symbols on a phone. Usually it has like a star and what's called a pound key. Now this would be something that would be very useful for practicing a phone number. You can get a little piece of paper, put it to the side and put your number 701, whatever your number is, and then your child can practice typing in your phone number, some fun number recognition practice, saying out loud what the numbers are. Again, you can do some quantities with numbers, matching up just how many is five? Can we get those five objects? And just really incorporating numbers into our play. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I look forward to talking with you more in the future. Bye for now.